may be at church. You may be at work. You may be asleep. God grant that you will be ready when he makes his personal appearance. My God, what if his appearance occurs on a Sunday morning? My prophetic word to you this morning is get ready, get ready! Welcome back to the channel. Share, subscribe, like this video. Make sure you put your prayer request in the bottom. We've got a lot of stuff to discuss. I just talked to Lisa about a lot of the things that are happening about now. They've taken out another one of these radar stations. This one's a satellite uplink that takes ballistic missiles over Russia. So they've taken out another one on top of all the other chaos that's happening in Russia today. Russia's not happy. Not at all. Now we had a viewer earlier decided to call me names and everything else. Instead of asking a question about where I get the emergency action messages, he decided to basically call me names, call me prideful, and that I was trying to hide it from him. And, well, the thing is, buddy, I have a radio here that I use. It. I, do what you want me to do, bring my radio to your house? I don't know what you want. But if you want to listen on YouTube, Duramax here has it. He has Duramax World News. That's where I usually keep it on the TV. But emergency oxygen messages are done by the radio. It's not a link to it. Okay? You can download the software. I don't do that. I've got my own emergency radio. And no, we're not trying to hide stuff from you. And you should be... I'm not even going to touch it. But like I said, instead of just asking me nicely, they decided to be a total, well, whatever you're seeing today with everybody, all this stuff. That's what you get. You know, we're trying to tell people to look for Jesus, and he decided to insult me instead of just ask me. And I would have gave it to him. We're trying to hide anything. I figured everybody knows where this stuff is. We talk about it every day. New York Prepper is literally right now streaming it live. The emergency action messages, streaming it live. It's all there. You know, all you had to do was ask nicely, but instead, you insulted me, insulted the channel, insulted Jesus, too, while you was at it. So, as I said, you wonder what world we live in? That's what we're talking about right there. Okay. So, with everything that's happening with what happened today, the U.S. drone appears to have provided target coordinates for the Ukraine strike on the civilians in the beach. So, it was our satellites and our drone that did it. Earlier today, this website reported an attack on the U.S. supplied attack of missiles by Ukraine against civilians on the beach there in Sevastopol, Crimea, and Russia. Now we find out the attackums could not get targeting coordinates because they're jamming it. So the GPS electronic warfare jamming, so targeting was apparently provided by the U.S. Global Hawk drone. It looks like we have targeted those Russian civilians. As shown in the image below or above, Russia's jamming of the global positioning satellites has been long underway near Crimea specifically to uh, thwart Ukraine attacks. The area in the red is the image above where GPS signals cannot get through. So how did those attackums hit their target? They had to be guided there. Turns out the United States Air Force Global Hawk Surveillance Drone Airborne prior to the and during the attack is overlapping the flight path and shown here on flight radar, which I can see it. I mean, if you're watching flight radar right now through either Duramax or New York Prepper, you can see it going back and forth. That the Global Hawk drone had provided precise target coordinates separate and distant, distinct from GPS. Those coordinates could then be uh, radio to a programmed into the HIMARS launcher, which fired the attack of missiles. The evidence seems to indicate that the attack upon Russian civilians on the beach appears to have been targeted with the United States Air Force Global Hawk drone, which relayed on the U.S. satellite data and communication to provide the attack coordinates. Now, this is how Turner's, or what Lisa would call hateful owls, Hal's uh, opinion. Let me ask you, and this is true, 
I have to agree with him on this. I don't agree with much. But if Americans are on a beach and, and say Wildberg or Wildwood, New Jersey or Miami, Florida, were hit with a cluster of munitions provided by Russia, but launched by someone else while Russia's drone was offshore at the same time of the attack, what would we in the United States do? Would we say Russia is no party to the conflict, or would we just cut through that and declare war and blow the living crap out of them? That's what we would do. If you think we would declare war and blow the living crap out of them, then shouldn't Russia do the same thing to us? This behavior, like he's going to go on to saying some stuff about Biden. Now, that's one thing. I don't agree about him, but I don't call him names and stuff like that. Now, that's something I don't do. And I will call him an idiot sometimes because sometimes he does act, but people act like idiots. Sometimes I can be an idiot. But the things he says, I won't repeat. That's something I won't do. Now, we're wanting to get, I'm sure Lisa will cover this too earlier than me. I've got storms coming. So here any time now, I'm going to get hit by a cluster of major storms with hail, chance of tornado. So I could be without power. So I'm trying to get this recorded at this time. I just talked to Lisa. So hers is getting on before mine. But I wanted to go over something with you that leads to what is happening in Russia today. Everything you saw it to happen in Russia, there's a reason for it. Why do we keep poking the bear? Why do we keep doing it? Why do we keep doing it? This is why this is all happening. The death of the petrodollar, what really happened between the U.S. and the Saudis. News about the expiration and the Washington deal may be fake, but an, an argument of the key to the dollar success has eroded. It is said that its works of fishing can also convey certain truths about uh, better than the newswire that is perhaps the light of which Views reports circulating around the Internet about the expiration of the 50-year petrodollar treaty between the U.S. and Saudi Arabia. The agreement it says the agreement is a piece of fiction, but it's not. It's actually the truth. The spacious report appears to have originated in India in a murky tangle of websites aimed at the crypto investors. It says there was an official agreement between the U.S. and Saudi Arabia signed in June of 1974. Another secret one reached later that, according to the Saudis, were promised military aid in exchange for recycling their oil proceeds into U.S. treasuries. The deal would sell oil in dollars in their form. So I guess they're trying to say, now this is RNRT, so this is Russia. They're trying to say that that's not real. Because remember, Saudi Arabia is now part of BRICS. So it says Petrodollar has entered a long twilight from which there was no return, no other economic arrangements, uh, has done more to ensure Americans' uh, premierance over the half century, yet it is essential and re uh, essence is represented by an implicit oil backing to the dollar that would be maintained. Now it says here, origins of Petrodollar, when the U.S. abandoned the dollar, gold, uh, abandoned the dollar gold peg in 1971, thus ending the Bretton Woods Agreement, the international financial system was thrown into chaos. What ensured was a turbulent period of high inflation and major adjustments to the new reality of free-floating currencies. Uh, then even the presence of gold backing the dollar unsurprisingly de devalued and the inflation ran rapid. By the summer of 1973, it had lost fifth of its value. This should have marked the end of the two and a half decades of the post-war dollar primacy. Uh, and yet, quite a pe uh, pe peculiar thing happened. The dollar's role as a reserve currency and an instrument of trade only expanded. The reason is that the Americans managed to steer the oil trade into dollars. So now that this oil trade, we're seeing it come to an end. Now, we already know we're, go we're assessing, I think we're amassing a, th a trillion dollars debt every hundred days now. Every hundred days, we got another trillion dollars in debt because, see, we're defaulting on everything because the dollar doesn't, all the money they print, it's just the, the more they print it. Okay, for instance, we we keep giving all these billions and billions and billions of dollars to Ukraine over the last year, and I'm end up in a 700 billion range. We've given them. And nobody even knows where that money is. They don't even know. It's not in Ukraine. Those people didn't get it. They're still starving, living in little tin buildings that's been hit by Russians. So the money's not going there. Where's it going? Once again, it's kind of like this Obama deal. 
back in the day when he sent a billion dollars of cash to Iran, which funded what happened to Israel the other day. And uh, we're totally responsible for that. Literally, what you're seeing here is our financial system starting to buckle. And they believe that a war is the only way out of this. Now, that's the devil telling them that. He's trying to convince two of the biggest kids on the block that you got to fight. And who's going to have the most power? So both of these people, Russia's not no, I'm not talking about the Russian people. I'm talking about Putin himself. Their government is no saints. None of them are. They're all looking for power. That's what this is all about. So Juan is doing bricks with gold. Juan is the petrodollar, which is gone. So this system over here is failing. They know it. So they're trying to start a fight over here to not lose their power and take over basically what the BRICS is trying to aim for because they can't allow that to happen. So that's why you see the mess. That's why we tell you it's not going to stop because America, don't matter who gets in the presidency, it's gone. The country's gone. People just can't understand it. They can't accept it. The politicians ain't going to tell you it's gone. They're going to keep making you think, even Trump's lying to you, telling you, oh, I can fix it. it." He cannot. He didn't fix it when he was in. This trillions of debt was piling up even while he was in there. He didn't do a thing. And it ain't going to happen this time. So see, people believe these politicians. They tell them what they want to hear, and they just believe it. They don't care about the evidence. you know. And trust me, I was a Trump supporter. But he could have easily done all this stuff. And let me tell you something. I knew it was over in 2020. The whole Everybody else should have. But the conservatives must have lost their minds. You didn't learn anything what happened after that election? Hey, there's people still in prison in Washington that just showed up there. What did Trump do for them? Crickets. Those people are still in prison. He asked them to show up there. These are people who didn't have anything to do with what happened when they stormed that, the Capitol. These are people who were just there and got arrested. He didn't done anything for them. They're still there rotting away. All because he invited them there. It's all a big setup. Let me tell you something, people. Don't trust people. Trust Jesus. People put all their faith in a man. That's why the Antichrist comes in and gets what he wants, because that's what people want. They want a man to fix the problem. Get what I'm saying? Everybody wants a man. They don't want Jesus. They want a man. They got to have a man to fix the problem. And no man can fix what is happening today. None. Trump had four years to do it. He did not do it. Nobody can fix it except Jesus. And he's the one coming to pull us out of here. And he will fix it because he is going to light this world up any moment now. That's why we keep warning you. Trust the gospel. 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Jesus died on the cross for our sins, past, present, future. And died and was buried, rose again on the third day according to the scriptures. Listen, and I was not jumping on people. People was asking me, are you trying to say something about it? No, I've had messages all day long that were, they thought it was on Pentecost that we was leaving. And they're like, I quit. I'm going to, I'm done. I can't do this stuff anymore. I'm like, what are you all talking about? It's all day. I mean, just message after message after message after one more, 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 more. See, it drives me crazy. And like I said, I'm not saying anything about other channels. It's not what I was trying to say. I was trying to say, just keep your focus on Jesus. I don't care what you do. A lot of channels do great things with this. Brother Aaron's one of the best at it when it comes to these things. But that's not what I was saying. I'm saying, when Jesus comes, be ready. Okay, and it can be any time. It does not have to be on a feast day. It does not have to be on this day. But people today, they can't just watch these channels and understand that they've got to go insane, crazy. And there's just no sense in it. These, it's like a bunch of Peters running around here that get off the boat and they just sink because they literally they don't know what to do with themselves. If you trust Jesus, you know He's coming at any time. He said you'll know the season. That's why I tell you to pay attention to the season we're in. Economies around the world are collapsing. Then you have this other bunch. They come in there, well, I need proof. Where's your proof? Where's that proof? Where's this proof? You can't talk to these people. Because, see, they're going to do everything, just like they did to Paul back in the day. 
They did the same thing to Paul. Always, no matter what he did, what he was trying to do, they was always accusing him of this or that. That's what people do. They don't want to hear the truth. They don't want it. They'll do anything to rebel against it. But I'm telling you, if you want to quit falling every time all this stuff happens, keep your eyes on Jesus. Go to him. Listen, all these channels do a great job, but none of them, including me, know when the rapture is. And if they say they do, they're lying. Okay? We do not know when it is. God's never given it to me. He never will. I've said it over and over and over. I know we're in the season, and I know that I won't be caught like I won't be caught off guard. I, Jesus won't be like a burglar coming into my house because I know he's coming because I see the writing on the wall with what's happening with Israel. Israel surrounded people. They don't have the ammunition. They don't have the weapons, just like Ross was talking on the day of News News. They don't have the weaponry. They're having to send Galah here to literally beg for bombs while we're sending tons of bombs to Ukraine so they can kill people on beaches. But Israel, they sure can't do that. Lord Almighty, you don't want to mess with them poor Palestinians. They're starving them to death, which is another lie. I saw videos of all the food that's there every day for those people. Another lie. Our media is beyond evil. Fox, MSNBC, CNN, they're all evil. And I would advise everybody to turn that rubbish off. Because all they do is feed the same narrative, just in different words. They're all run by Lucifer, every one of them. And I've tried to tell people this, and they should have learned it in 2020. Didn't learn nothing from it. Americans have a memory of about three seconds. Everything in 2020 taught me all I need to know. I knew I could not trust them anymore, and I never went back. I started finding my own sources, digging myself. But people still... They keep going to them, hoping that one day they're all just going to change out of nowhere, but they don't read their Bible because that's not what it says. They're not going to change. There's not going to be no peace. The end of the world is nigh. It's coming. We're giving you all the facts. Listen, today was a huge day in Russia. They took out another system. They killed innocent people on beaches. They had two shootings, had one priest's throat cut today. How, like, like how Turner says, how long are they just going to let it slide before they hit us and kill people here? It's just a matter of time. Russia knows that uh, the NATO and the world's coming for them. They know that. They're not stupid. They see it. They even come out and said they know we're, they're coming for them. And if their ship's going to sink, they're going to take all the other ones down with them. This is how Satan's got them thinking. And he's got us thinking it's a bluff and that they're not going to do anything. See, this is how Satan works. He turns us against each other. That's what he does. That's why this person in the day today came after me. Because that's Satan. Use them to try to do something to me, but it don't bother me at all. I could care less what you think about me. My job is to tell you Jesus is coming. And that stuff, like I said, you won't never see me lose a night's sleep over anything somebody says. It just ain't going to happen. My job is to tell you Jesus is coming, and it's any time, and everything's written on the wall. We don't know when it's going to happen, but don't lose your crown. Keep yourselves aware. Turn the world off and focus on Jesus. That's what we do here. We work as a family. We get confirmations to each other, and that's what we do here. we got to work together, but then you'll have these people come in and act like they're, they're just bullies. That's all they are, but see, the world's full of bullies. That's why we're in the shape we're in. People are rude, obnoxious, no morals, no manners whatsoever. And that's what you're seeing in the comments. But like I said, that stuff don't, if you're trying to hurt me, good luck to you is all I can tell you. Because like I said, I'm here to tell you Jesus is coming. And that's what I do. I don't tell you it's tomorrow at 7.55 or the next feast day. I don't do that. I don't mind anybody watching days. You're supposed to watch every day, so you can watch feast days. That's not what I'm saying. Literally, you're supposed to watch every day. That is what I stress to you. Not just the feast day, because it doesn't say, you know, I'm going to come as a thief, but hey, it'll be on a feast day. I'm coming. It doesn't say that. It said be watching at all times or I will come as a thief. So you're always aware that he's coming. That's Bible, people. I monitor the emergency action messages all day and all night. That's what I do. I've got my own frequency. I've got emergency radios here. 
That's why I was asking. I was wondering what the heck this guy was talking about. I'm like, what are you talking about? You can't share a link to my bedroom and a radio, but I do monitor it through TV on Duramax. I thought everybody knew that because New York Prepper talks about it all the time. But that's that's the best place if you want to monitor it on YouTube. And you go to Duramax, or what was it again? I want to make sure I say it again since somebody thought I was trying to hide the emergency oxygen messages, which is the craziest thing I've ever heard in my life. That is Duramax World News. It's on YouTube. And he tracks flight radar just like I do. But if you want to watch it on YouTube, but if not, you're going to have to have a radio and software. I, I've i got the stuff here, and that's a lot of money. If you want to invest in it, I mean, I, go ahead and knock yourself out. But I, I've had it because we had radio stations and stuff, so I've got all that technology here, and I've had it for years. So I've had these emergency radios for I guarantee you 15, 20 years, and I use them. They're just ham radios. I love ham radio. So I can get those frequencies here, but I, if I monitor it on TV, it's through Duramax World News. That's how I do it. Okay, let's see what else we got here. It says Ukraine hit Russia Space Communications and Early Warning Center. This is what we was talking about. After the strikes in Sevastopol and the loss of Russian civilians in Crimea, Ukraine also hit the vulnerable NIP-16 Space Monitoring Communication Center near the city of Yapatora in the Black, on the Black Sea coast. It is a Soviet facility that was placed under the command of Russian Aerospace Defense Forces for a nuclear early warning and command operation. So once again, they're hitting these targets and taking out their early warning systems. Ladies and gentlemen, We've already told you the outcome of what Russia does. Everybody's seen it. So we know what's coming. It's just when are they going to push the button. So we've got to be aware and be watching and listening. Now, we see all this stuff happen today, so we got we need to be paying attention. We know that Israel, any minute now, either Hezbollah's going to hit them or they're going to hit them. So what does that tell us? The whole world is building up to this one moment, and that moment is the rapture of the church. That's why I stress this each and every day. That's my job. That's what I'm supposed to tell you. It's what the Holy Spirit has me telling you is to be keeping your eyes on Jesus. That's the most important thing. Don't take my opinion. Go to Jesus tonight and say, hey, this crazy guy that I'm listening to, is he telling the truth? Are we in the last moments? We get people getting knocks on doors, hearing bells in their house, and I'm talking thousands of people. God is waking up the world. He's knocking on your door saying, listen, my children, be ready. I'm coming to get you. If you. Don't take my word for it. Ask him. He'll tell you the same thing. He's led us all to this same place. All is one family, and I appreciate it. All the work you guys do. And if you have any information, if anything's happened today, if you see anything about Israel or anything out of the ordinary, just make sure you put it out to Shelly in the comments. And remember, it's just two of us. Like this guy, all he had to do was ask nicely. Wasn't hiding anything from him. But instead, he had to literally call me names, go against the channel, and everything else. And all he had to do was just ask. But that shows you the mentality of people today in this world. That's what we're dealing with. And that's why this world is coming to an end. Thank you for all those who bought me coffees and those who bought the Super Sticker Show on YouTube. God bless each and every one of you. Like I said, I'm doing this a little bit earlier because I know the storm was coming. I think right now that I'm doing this is about 9 o'clock, and that storm's supposed to be on me at any time. I just want to make sure I got this out there that, listen, today was huge escalation, and Russia was not happy. They had some really nasty words. I've never heard them talk about America like I heard them say, and I can even repeat it on here, but it was scary, scary stuff. Now, we don't have to be scared. We're going home, but these people are getting to the point of no return. And that means the rapture is any time. I love each and every one of you. If I don't see or hear from you again, I'll see you in heaven. Thank you once again for tuning in to Global Rapture Watchers, where we do daily updates here on YouTube. Letting you know that we're one day closer to our Lord and Savior coming back. Thank you for all the support for this channel. This channel was created for God's sheep. Those that are waiting for their Lord and Savior. 
to come back and get us in these last days. We do updates once to two times a day here on YouTube. Thank you for all your support for the channel. God bless each and every one of you.